Hey everyone, John here from Bite Size Cruises. Welcome back, this is day five on Celebrity Summit. Uh, should be a fun sea day, there's a lot of things going on. I was supposed to do the behind the scenes tour and I got a call last night that that was canceled, but it might get rescheduled for 2 p.m. I have no idea why, I said operational reasons. We shall see, but otherwise, I'm gonna go do some breakfast, gonna go do uh, the seafood lunch at the Tuscan Grill. Should be a bunch of fun, and there's a lot of things going on today, so let's get after day five. Come on with me. Thanks. Bye. Grabbed a quick little breakfast here in the main dining room. Oh, right. Very good. I thought I was going for a cooking competition. Um, so, uh, I always liked apples growing up. And a neighbor of mine had a wonderful orchard. And one day I got, uh, I got found borrowing apples. And the judge told me I could leave the country or go to jail. So, no, you don't believe it, I don't blame you. Um, I grew up in a small village, uh, Slane County Mead. So my father came from, County Mead would be traditionally, it has a small coastline but traditionally very famous for, let's say, a farming community. And my father came from County Meath, and my mother came from a very small fishing village called Clarahead in County Louth, which is the smallest county in Ireland. Don Lou is the Gaelic name for it. So when they met up and married, they picked pretty much Midway, which is Slane in County Meath, which where I was born and bred. So I had a very good mix of, uh, let's say, country lifestyle, to the port and to leave the port and you can only transit the port entrance so from the, when the pilot embarks into alongside and from alongside you must be able to make the transit back out to disembark the pilot in daylight hours so anyone who was ever on board a ship or you had a medical emergency you cannot enter bermuda in hours of night and similarly all right then i headed over to the tuscan grill for the seafood lunch this is a nice little special. It's $35 uh, for a nice seafood lunch. If that's your jam, there is nothing going on. So I decided to do it. I have the dining package. So why not? Got a little bread here. The bread is nothing to write home about. Uh, the scallops and, bu and butter were really, really good. And I had a nice little Caesar salad here, which was great. Then we got some lobster thermidor, which was excellent, and a coconut cheesecake which was delightful hey everyone i flipped the camera around so you could see something different instead of seeing the same wall behind my chair so you get to see the actual uh background of the cabin here it's facing up crazy weird angles uh i'll figure this out by tomorrow so anyway day five going to dinner now gonna head up to the uh buffet or the dining room i'm not sure where i want to go yet let me go check it out and see what's going on. Uh, it's been pretty quiet. As you know, the CDC uh, had a little norovirus. Uh, they've been on here. The health board has been on here. So everybody's clean and washing hands and doing everything. So that's a good thing. And they're serving you at the buffet, which I love. I know it's not sustainable. I know they can't do that all the time. It takes a lot of staff to do that, but it is very nice. So I'm gonna head up there, see what's for dinner, and then we're gonna go see a couple shows and do some fun things tonight. Hopefully the weather breaks and we start getting some nicer weather that's not rain. I mean, the seas are fine, it's calm right now, knock on whatever, fake wood. But uh, it is raining, it's just uh, overall not the best weather. Anyway, let's get out there, let's go take the rest of the night by storm and uh, you'll see what we have planned. Thanks so much, see you in a couple minutes.
So don't forget his fourth and bottom. Two and one, step it down in one step. All right, Manuel seems to be the lead right now. And done, next up, we have... Number four, who was the first woman to win a Nobel Prize? Who was the first? Tenerife is correct. Well done, Tenerife. If you got Tenerife, give me a whoop, 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 whoop. Well done. Question number two was. All right, everybody, we are wrapping up day five, halfway through the cruise. Seems like it's day 50. It's not, it's day five. Going on a cruise by yourself for uh, four to five days is probably the sweet spot for me by myself. Uh, seven days, I've done, I can do it. Um, if there's a lot going on, it's not bad. 10 days seems, uh, was, seems like I was overly optimistic. So um, it'd be nice to have some human interaction. I have met some really nice people, so we're five days in, we got five to go. It also hasn't been helpful that I hurt my back and the weather's been terrible. So uh, getting out off the ship tomorrow in Charleston should help. Uh, so another really fun day today, a lot going on. Unfortunately, the behind the scenes tour got canceled because of some uh, things that were going on operationally on the ship. So nothing I can do about that, but uh, we had a great day. The seafood lunch was great. The shows were really good tonight. Uh, you got to see some of the show stuff that was really fun. And then the um, 80s party, uh, always a good time 80s party. And I won trivia uh, today by myself, which is crazy because usually it's me, AJ, and Meg. We have a good team of like uh, diverse knowledge of things. Uh, so we usually do pretty well at trivia. By myself, I do not usually do that well. So luckily we had 80s music and some movie trailers and I crushed that, got some extra credit as well. So fun day all together. Tomorrow we will be in Charleston after we go through immigration, be off the ship. So I will see you tomorrow for day six on Celebrity Summit if I don't lose my mind by myself here. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe, come along with me. Uh, keep me sane during these next five days on the cruise ship. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. It's okay, I'll be all right. All right everyone, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.